Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion with Viscera. And like I said, we're going off to um, Wayne and Priory, I think, right outside town. Yeah, the Wayne and Priory. I don't know how you pronounce it. See our friend Joffrey about this uh, amulet of the kings here that we were given. So let's go here. See how far we get today. Oh, and I think I had forgotten to tell you guys, last last few episodes I was talking about um, the mods I have for this game. I think it's unique landscapes that add some of the, the little doodads around the environment. And I think supposedly adds a few dungeons and quests and stuff related to it, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Because I remember seeing some in someone else's Let's Play, but... So I can't um, really be 100% for sure about that. It's been so scampy out here. All right, you're going to pop in behind me. That's fine. Talk to Joffrey here. I know it wasn't too far away. Nah, he's gone already. That's that's fine. Be that way, Mr. Scampy. Be that way. We don't need you. Actually, we do need you. I don't really know. I'm just... Ooh, hey, yeah, we're here. Um... A little busy here, picking stuff. Alright, so where is he? Inside? Let's talk to this guy. See if he where he knows Morning. Where. Yes, morning. How are you? Wait. Um. I'm the shepherd here. Eranor is the name. And this is Waynon Priory. Waynon. I'm looking for Joffrey, sir. If he's not sleeping or eating, he'll be fussing with his books, I reckon, over in the Priory house. Fine. Goodbye. In your face, hey, dark elves. But we'll take a look in here. Um, uh, no one to greet me. Fine. Uh, I eh, just go up. Um, you Joffrey? Hey, I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Well, I brought you the Amulet of Kings. This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Well, that was what the Emperor said to me. It was his last words. I happened to be there. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Okay, so he said something about closing shut the jaws of oblivion? Do you know what that even means? His meaning is unclear to me as well. Hmm. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Right, so how exactly does that mean this oblivion place is going to threaten us? I'm not sure. Only the emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. Strange. Um, well, he asked me specifically to find his son. Which is strange because he said his sons were murdered too at the same time, but to see you about this. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, 
but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Hmm. Okay, so, well, where can I find him? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvac, south of here. You must go to Kvac and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Well, first off, how about like a uh, an escort? I'm not exactly equipped to hold this amulet of kings. What, can you, what, can you, what else can you tell me about uh, the amulet? It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. Ah, uh, makes sense. I don't really want to carry it, but is it going to be safe with you? Is what I'm, hmm. All right, well, what kind of assistance can you give me? I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Over here. Thank you. I will uh, take a look at that. I probably... Well, Coral is nearby. I'll just take it all. And I'm over in Coombert, of course. By a whole 50-something pounds. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to make a mess in your house here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I really do not have a lot of carrying weight, do I? Yeah, I thought I was going to sell this stuff off, but uh, apparently that's not going to happen. Yeah, then I'm going to have to make two trips back. Yeah, I really need the money. That's sort of why I'm doing that. I might come back for this and do that off-air, folks. Um, just to give him some some traveling cash here. Oh, all right. Your first priority now should be to find Martin and bring him back here. Yes. Um, well, what else can you tell me about this uh, Mayrun's Dagon character? The Daedra, Prince of Destruction, an inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaegar Than's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. Hmm. Any other assistance you can give me? I don't have much here at hand, but you're welcome to anything you need from my chest in the reading room. Right. Priam Abril and Brother Pina may also be able to help. You should speak to them about it if you haven't already. Yeah, actually, I will talk to them if I remember here. Um, all right, anything you can tell me about Martin himself um, before I leave? He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kvac. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. Fine, all right. I think that's all we need. Waste no time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. Well, I'm going to waste a little time just trying to sell this stuff, if you don't mind. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, yeah. Oh, I do have a spell for this, don't I? I did buy that feather spell. I'm just wondering how much... Um, this burden here. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I guess I can't get all of it. Oh, so close to. Um, well, I don't see two pounds. Hmm. I do apologize for any noise from the outside. I suppose I. you might be hearing a little bit of it. Uh, Kind of ricocheting through my house here. This one's hammering outside. All I really need to do is drop two pounds. Well, the Mage's Guild Charter is useless. That's one whole pound there. And... Well, these are all relatively light. Mm -hmm. Other boots. Uh... What is the least? Well, the, the graves. Fine. I'm not coming back. I'm just, I'm just going. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about the mess there, uh, sir. Uh, I'll, uh, can you take care of that mess for me? Because I really, um, I'm kind of in a hurry, as you said here. Uh, 
I gotta go. All right. Um, there was someone else you said to talk to. And this spell won't last too long. I want to get back to Coral and sell off on this stuff here. Oh yes, plus um, I don't want to talk to this dark elf again, but maybe they'll give me some help. I'll use him. Well, who are these two? How are you? Welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Piner, and this is Wayne and Priorith, a monastery. Can I help you? Uh, I was told you might be able to continue to assist me. Uh... Here, perhaps you will find this useful. One of the books I saved from my blade's training. Oh, really? You go into danger. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but know that our prayers go with you. All right. Take care. How about... What do you want? No, not you. I actually need to talk to the other fella. Farewell. Yeah, yeah. I know that you are on an important mission for the Blades. Please, if you need a horse, take mine from the Priory stable. That would actually... That's very generous. Yes. Go with Talos's blessing. Do not fail. It's you. Hi. Have you seen the Briar? Ooh, a free horse. Yes. Uh, How do you do? Yeah. Talk to me. Um. All right. Which horse is yours here? Ah. Finally. I'm gonna get around in style here. Now let's go back to uh, Coral, sell off this stuff here. And, uh, yeah, this is... Need some power steering in this horse. Not, not really one of the better horses, but, um, yeah. This this spell is going to pay for itself, I'm telling you right now. Definitely was worth it. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to cut out here for a little bit and... Um, come back where is the entrance again yeah I'm gonna cut out here and uh, sell off and then we'll we'll head out probably gonna go cross country I imagine now, let me bring up the map here because I think um, otherwise I'd have to backtrack all the way down and then go all the way to Skingrad here Kavach is pretty far away but this is a long, very long distance cross country too. Wow. Um, I wonder if I should stop by Skingrid. I'm really hoping to pick up a, a spell for um, get the Mages Guild there. Is what I'm saying. I need I need an electricity spell. This is electricity. I'm like I explained a couple episodes ago. Whoa! I can't even see. All right, pausing. Okay, cross country. Um. I don't know if I'm going to actually hit anything along the way here. I may, if I find an alien ruin, I may try. And, um, I may try that. Okay, let's quick save here as we're leaving. Um, but this is going to be quite the trip long, pretty long distance over the, uh, how do I, this horse control here is quite, um, <laughs> quite troublesome here. Uh, no. Can we... Yeah, alright. I'll get it at some point. Hopefully. hopefully. I'm getting a lot of frame rate issues, too. Um, can we get over this wall? <laughs> Ooh, I think the horse took some damage there. Oh, well. All right, so where are we off to? Whoa, that's way, yeah, that's like way to the southwest here. Just gotta be careful going over some of these hills. It's been a while since I've uh, gone over some of these things. I just saw another one of these shrines here. I mainly like going to these things here because if you want to use like um, in some of the chapels. I know we went to Julianus, and I just sort of want to touch each one of these because I think the Knights of the Nine quest has something to do with this also. Forgot exactly the Bella. I know I didn't say much good about the Bella. La was it last episode? 
Uh, so yeah, yeah, forgive me there, uh, Debella. <laughs> I uh, didn't really mean it. Yeah, yeah, there's a ticket. Alright. Yeah, so if I find an alien ruin, I may attempt, uh, make an attempt at it. Ooh. And I almost fell to my doom here. Yeah, but I'm not going to hit too much along the way here. I think we'll just try and go for, uh... I don't know, maybe I should go to Skin... Like I said, I should go to Skin Grad, maybe. So, hey, I guess more due south. Let me check. Yeah, almost like due south here. So... Alright. I forget which stat, but if I do level up at some point here, I gotta, I gotta increase my carrying weight. I can't remember if it's um, a little town over there. I can't remember if it's endurance that does that in Oblivion, or if it's strength. And I'm stopping every so often. I get a lot of hiccups and frame rate issues. I'm trying to record the same time I'm doing this, and uh, I got the graphics jacked up pretty high here. That might be an alien ruin over there. We just don't have a whole lot of carrying passy is what I'm saying, so... Um, yeah. I don't... Oh, I see something down there. Uh, if you could not go into the tree, that'd be super. Thank you. Oh, crap. Alright, so there's summoning something. What is that, exactly? Oh, it's like a dryad. Looks a little bit like, uh... Hello. Fire! Thank you. Oh, let's see. Restore strength. Restore mag magic. Yeah. No, not so much important, I guess. All right, Mr. Horse. Let's get you closer here, and um, I don't know how many. Well, let's see. Let's quick save here in case I die a horrible agony. It's a death walking closer to this place. Ah, there is a door here. There is indeed a door. Oh crap! Damn you, wolf! Help. Yeah. Uh, no. Nah. Any more wolves here around here? No? Alright. Uh, let's see here. Oops. Want that. Uh, let's just get do some healing here. Okay. So what is this place? Uh... Ellen Glen could be horrible, agonizing death in here, so we'll try it out. Do a quick save. Um, we'll try it out. Okay, so I don't know if I wanna. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see soon enough. Oh, see, this is what I mean. Those things, the ethereal things, are immune to. Pretty much immune to fire. From my understanding. Needs. Oh, oh! <laughs> um, yeah. Great. <laughs> That's why I needed the freaking shock touch. Or not the shock touch. I needed like a rain shock thing. Now he is taking damage. I uh, see, is this the frost? No. Okay, so not too good here. Hmm. And let's do a sorcery one. Okay. And all we got for that is uh, 
that. That's not too good. And it's also... If there's a lot of these in here, I'll probably be leaving. Because we just don't have electric. They did take damage from the fire, which is unusual, but... Alright, quick save, and now let's see how many times I die trying to go through this. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's probably saved halfway through, huh? Yeah. Right here. Let's quick save again. Okay, barely got through that. Let's quick save. I'll oh, see now that's um Yeah, let's not sneak. Don't think I'm gonna level up my uh Ah see more of those uh those stones there. Oh sh those things shoot. Okay. Does see me? Alright, we're gonna have to use that post here to uh kind of protect us. I see a skeleton coming in. He's dead. And you could somehow drop that one there, huh? Right, let's go. Oh crap. Alright, let's just just run. Run, I'm getting wrecked. Whoa, what was that? Holy crap. I don't even remember that. Okay. I see someone over there. Could be a necromancer of some sort. I'm going to try and aggro them. I'm here. I can't tell if they see me yet or not. A quick save. Yeah, that doesn't look like it'd be healthy to get hit by, so... Oh, he does see me. Yes! <laughs> well, that should be a lesson to us, though. I saw another one over there. Yeah, come on. Come try it. Ooh. Get hit. <laughs> Come on. Run, run. No! Ah, getting hit by stuff. Okay. Ow! Oh, come on, I'm gonna loot these things. Alright, I gotta keep an eye on this stuff here. Um, putrid hand. Wait, oh, it's already pretty high. Okay. Um, what does that do me? Doesn't do me any good. Okay. I know I could go into the water. I can't go in and all. Oh, good job. Dang, come on. <laughs> uh, okay, there's, there's a, two of those shooting things right there. Um, and I'm still not really healthy here. Alright. Let's get to a place where we can actually heal up a little bit. Alright. Alright, heal. save again. Alright, quick save. Got the fire on. Looks like there's something else ethereal in there too, aside from that skeleton, which makes me a little bit afraid. But that does a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm... I'm in trouble here. Is there any way to... 
disable those things? Doesn't look like it. Now this is a death trap, guys. I may not go too far in here. Uh, <laughs> this is de definitely meant for a higher level, I think. Alright, quick save. Okay, top, stop it. Hello? No! Forget it. Oh crap. Okay. I went two of them and yeah. Um uh, yeah, that's that's it for us. Uh thanks for trying. Apparently there's no way to to get this thing here. Let's just hope we can get through this without getting them angry with us. I don't could try and do like a mad dash. Oh crap. <laughs> Come on, go, 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 go. Okay. All right, any more of them? Run, 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 run. I'm not going to make it. Okay, I made it. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, give me a minute here. I'm going to have to do some... Oh, crap. Yeah, healing up and try and get through this. Uh, I'll pause recording. Okay, so let's see if we can get through this. Quick save. And run like scared little girls out of here. Uh, let's go to Skingrad. <laughs> yeah, that um, that was that was not good. Not good at all. All right, skin grant it is. Heading south. And we are off. We're going to keep an eye out here. Let's bring up the map here real quickly. Wow, we actually went a little over halfway. So, yeah, um... I think I'm going to pause here and end this episode and start up another one real soon. Okay, I'll see you next time. Adios, folks.